Hi, welcome to another Docker tutorial video. In this video, I will teach you how to build your own custom Docker image. So far, we have been using others images from the official source like CentOS and BusyBox, etc. So let's go straight into it. The first step to create your own Docker image is to create a working directory. So in this case, I will be creating one in my desktop. So Let's go to desktop and for Windows, you will use mkdir, same for Linux, it's the same command. So I'll call it work, uh, my work. So now go into my work over here. To create a blank file in command prompt, you have to do this type now arrow the name will be docker file presented so to show that it is here i type dir so you can see there's a file called docker file in linux you will have to vi vi with the file name right so you can choose your i mean for windows you can choose your favorite editor so for me i'll be using visual studio code So over here is the work, my work directory and inside it has the docker file. The reason why I'm using uh, VS code is because it has extension to install the uh, docker syntax. So in the docker file, you need to have three uh, groups of parameters that you need to enter. So the first part I will be writing it here. The base image and then you will have the dependency sys and other installations so the last part will be the execution commands base image is like the image you are referencing from it depends on what you want to build on. If you want to have a clean setup, you can go for Alpine. If you want something like CentOS, you can call for CentOS. So then for the dependencies and other installations, it's the stuff that you want to add on to. So if let's say you want to install like maybe uh, net tools, you can declare it over here. Then the last part will be the command to run after the image is built. So let's say I want to build a CentOS image as base and I want to install Redis on it and finally run it. So in my Docker file, this should be the way I declare. Take note that the first words, the first keyword that you enter is the Docker command for the Docker file. So I will, I will be declaring say that from, so this is the Docker command and I will say that I want CentOS. If Let's say I know which version I want to use, like in colon, let's say I want to do 6.6, .6, then you have to do that. But if you don't, if you declare it in this way, so it will take the latest. Then you will have to run certain things. So for me, I would say I want to run uh, yum updates. And I say minus y. And then I want to run Redis. It's so sorry. I want to run Redis, so I will say I run yum install Redis minus y. Okay, then finally, the command that I want to execute after I have updated the CentOS, after I have installed the Redis, I want to run the Redis. So I have to put cmd, the command that I want to run, square bracket double quotes redis dash server this command redis dash server is the command to run the server itself of the redis if you are in the uh, linux server if you key in this and redis is already installed you key in this it will run as a server so after this i'll save it all right so now let's go uh, go back to the command prompt and 
in the command prompt, make sure that you are at the my work directory, the directory that you have your Docker files with. So, uh, to build the Docker image, you do Docker build minus minus t for tagging. So the format for tagging is your Docker username. So for me, I will be using this. For demo purpose and slash because we are doing Redis so we're going to declare Redis so depend on you if this is your version 1 you have put version 1 version 2 so and so forth but if you want to add, uh, call it the latest then you call it the latest okay, sorry latest so if you don't want to declare it it will automatically declare as uh, latest. So after that, space, dot. Dot means this directory here. When you press enter, you will start building. So you can see that step one, I already have a CentOS, so it takes from my cache, then goes to step two, I do a yum update. So you will start to download. Uh, this will take a while. Then finally, doing all the downloads and later on installation. So, clean up. Alright. So it goes to step 3. So, step 3, I say install Redis. So, installing and complete. Then step four to run the command, and I have already run the command. All right, to verify, we do Docker images, and from the repo, you can see that it's created one minute ago. I'm going over a little bit on how the Docker files work. If you have worked with scripting, you will know that it is a top-down approach, where the top command runs, then the second command runs, and so on and so forth until the last command. So what if that you want to rebuild the custom image? If you rerun the same command again, it will not rebuild. Let me show you. Docker view minus e. Okay, let's see. And you can see from here that it uses my cache and cache. Third step using cache, fourth step using cache. So basically it didn't review at all. Um, let me show you how. Um, go back to your Docker file. And let's say I want to review from here onwards. I don't want to touch my base, but I want to rerun the whole thing. I have to shift the command up or I mean I have to modify the command after the base image. So Dockerfile understand that there is a change from this line onwards, so it will run from this line down. It will start to review this view. So let me save. Now let's go back to command. And if we do the same thing again, you can see that it skips the base, but now it starts to install Redis first. Right, then it will start to update again. And reinstall again. And finally running the command Redis server. Rules number two 
is that to ensure that the docker file structure is optimized on formatting for example if i want to add in nettools i should be adding yum install nettools after the updates so it should be here so if i do run yum install nettools dash y so that docker file will pick up say that over this few line has changed and it doesn't i do not have to reinstall the whole chunk again because it takes time to install all these updates and perhaps if let's say this is a new uh, uh base so you have to re-download everything again so that that's that's uh, uh, wasting a lot of time so if i save this and then i run it again you will see that it skips from um, just hold on all right uh, okay so you can see that it skips step one it skips step two because from cache step three is from cache step four because i want to install net tools so it will do the changes here update the changes and then we run the command again so now we have built the custom image and I want to run it so docker images and you can see I have one copy here the latest and it was created two, two minutes ago copy the image id and do docker run minus dt image started so verify docker ps ready server is up so let's do docker log docker logs container id you can see that it's ready to accept connections all right i have come to the end of the video just a little side note there is a manual way to create custom image but i have never seen anyone do that because docker file exists for the same purpose and it's faster to do so but if you are interested comment it below and i will create a tutorial just for that thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe my channel